In its David and Goliath fight against Russia, Ukraine is getting a high-tech boost from face recognition technology, artificial intelligence that can identify almost anyone just from a photo, the Ukrainians now using it to identify invading Russian soldiers and to seek justice. Each person which was uh, identified here is, uh, is a possibility for us to open criminal case against a specific person, against specific uh, criminal, war criminal. On the battlefield, Ukraine identifying dead Russian troops and sending photos of their bodies to their families back in Russia, a new digital form of psychological warfare. Take the battle for Kyiv. When Russian soldiers shot two civilians in the back, the killing caught on surveillance footage obtained by the BBC. And with the facial recognition uh, tool, we were able to identify uh, one of the soldiers, and uh, now we have criminal case. The software comes from Clearview AI, an American company that scraped 20 billion photos from the internet and social media sites, sparking controversy over privacy and bans in multiple countries. I saw the images coming out of Ukraine, um, and some of them are very distressing, disturbing, uh, of women and children fleeing. And the other thing that really struck me was some of these uh, people who had been captured, captured Russian soldiers, uh, and I realized that perhaps facial recognition technology could help identify them. Clearview says it's giving Ukraine the technology for free, but does it really work? We want to test out whether this works on someone who doesn't post a billion photos of them online. So I'm going to call up my friend Kelly in West Virginia. She keeps a pretty low profile online. I spend time on social media, but I don't post often. <laughs> what about Instagram? The only pictures that have me in them on Instagram are all on a private account. She's not sure that the software is going to be able to figure out who she is. Should we try it? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. First step is basically you find a file and you upload. And so here is your friend. Never done this before. So we'll see if it works. Marshall. Marshall University, that's her. Yeah. Clearview says the software is so good, it works on faces with masks, even on bodies of soldiers whose faces have been disfigured by war. I want to test that too. So a special effects artist is distorting my face. Nothing gruesome to try to throw the computer off. So what we'll do is we'll do another search here. And this is the photo that they gave you with a different nose. And um, we'll see if it happens. Oh my God, so that's me. 93 photos here. It looks at all the things that stay the same uh, through, through our age. So there's just only some variation in the nose area and the chin area. It's still picking up on these other features that stay the same. Clearview says nearly 500 Ukrainian officials have access, conducting more than 24,000 searches since the war started. Ukrainian officials tell NBC News they're also using it at checkpoints to root out potential Russian infiltrators. Some of your critics say that you're trying to promote this Ukraine work to sort of whitewash the very profound privacy concerns that people have about the software. A lot of people's minds on facial recognition were changed around Jan 6 when the insurrection happened. It was very instrumental in being able to make identifications quickly. So I think any new technology will have detractors and misunderstandings, especially on how it's really used in practice. We live in a digital world. And uh, this world will never be uh, the same. Josh Letterman, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.